In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to make this easy to wear cardigan. I use uh, socks yarn and uh, three millimeter crochet hook. So this tutorial is for size S, but you'll find uh, all the instruction for other sizes on my blog. To begin the back side, I will just make the foundation double crochet. No, 94 stitches of foundation double crochet if you are not used to this stitch I will let uh, in description below the link to the tutorial but if you want you can change chain 94 stitches and then make the first row in a double crochet this is how I made the foundation double crochet so chain 3, yarn over, insert the hook into the farthest uh, stitch that you have made, yarn over and pull the yarn through the stitch, yarn over and pull the yarn through the first stitch, yarn over, pull the yarn through the first two loops and then yarn over and pull the yarn to the last two loops. This is the way uh, that you make the foundation double crochet. Beginning with the second stitch, you'll have to insert the hook in the V stitch at the bottom of the double crochet that you have just made. As I said, I will add a link below to the tutorial of uh, this stitch, but if you want, you can chain 94 stitches and then uh, just make the first row in uh, double crochet. The entire uh, cardigan is made in a V stitch, uh, but a simple V stitch without uh, making a chain between the double crochet, so only two double crochet in the stitch then skip one stitch and again to double crochet here i am about to finish the foundation double crochet row i have a uh, few stitches to go uh, personally i uh, love uh, more the foundation double crochet because the edge looks uh, better in this way and uh, the chain uh, your project doesn't curve uh, like uh, it makes with a regular chain so here yarn over pull the yarn through the first two loops yarn over and pull the yarn through the last two loops on your hook yarn over insert the hook into the v at the bottom of the stitch yarn over and pull the yarn through that stitch yarn over pull the yarn through the first loop yarn over pull the yarn to the first two loops yarn over and pull the yarn to the last two loops and this is uh, the way we make the foundation double crochet I think that is the last stitch and now I have one more okay I just finished the foundation double crochet row this row uh, doesn't count as our first row so we only count the rows in v stitch now chain two the chain two at the beginning of the row doesn't count as a stitch so in the very first stitch we will make our first double crochet and then we will begin with the v stitch so skip the next stitch and in the next one make two double crochet 
So two double crochet in the same stitch. Then skip the next stitch and in the next one again two double crochet. And basically this is the pattern for this uh, first row or second. So skip one stitch in the next two double crochet, skip one stitch and in the next two double crochet. And we will do that to the end of the row. This is how it looks until now. Here I am at the end of uh, the first row and we will finish the row with one double crochet in the last stitch. So every row will begin with one double crochet in the first stitch and it will end with one double crochet in the last stitch. Chain two and turn. We will begin the second row, as I said, with one double crochet in the first stitch. Then we will continue with the V-stitch and we will make the two double crochet between the two double crochet from the previous row. So in the space between the two double crochet from the previous row. And basically this will be the stitch the main stitch and we will work the entire cardigan with this stitch. So between the two double crochet from the previous row we will make the two double crochet on this one. And we will repeat doing that, that row, that second row, we will repeat this second row until the row 60. So we will make 60 rows in total with V-stitch for the back side. Remember when I said I say the number of rows, I don't count the first row. The first row in double crochet or in foundation double crochet. So to the armpit you'll have to make 60 rows with this stitch. This will be the back side and both front sides are basically the same only that uh, we will begin with a chain of 60 stitches so instead of 94 I won't be, uh, I want to film the front sides also because basically it's the same stitch and the same pattern. So here we are at the row 60. I have used more stitches to go. And at row 61 we will begin to uh, create the armhole so we will decrease at the beginning and at the end of the row so we will begin and skip the first six stitches and we will make uh, that in uh, with slip stitch We will proceed the same on the front sides, so after the 60 rows we will make the decrease on one side at the beginning of the row and on the other side at the end of the row. And basically this will be with the uh, front sides. So the only difference uh, between the back side and the front sides are 
that uh, we change 60 instead of 94 and uh, at the armpit we only decrease in one side on the left side and uh, one part and on the right side on the other one so I just uh, skip the first six stitches then uh, we will continue with the V stitch until we have seven stitches left and when we have six so before the six uh, the last six stitches we will end the row with one double crochet and we will repeat this row 19 more times so we will have 20 rows in total from the armpit to the end so for the armhole we will have 20 rows in this stitch the same on the front part only that uh, the only difference on the front part if you want that your cardigan will close with a button uh, before ending the right part I made a buttonhole uh, when I had two more rows to go at the beginning of the of the front part uh, of the right part of front I made a buttonhole skipping to V stitch so this is the back side as I said proceed the same for the front side only beginning with 60 stitches then after 60 rows you you will only decrease in one part at the armpit and then continue with the stitches left for 20 rows and remember on the right side to make your buttonhole before ending the right side and after finish uh, the back side and the both front sides you'll have to sew them together to assemble these three parts you can do it at the end if you want so this is the back side this is the one front side the second one and as I said you'll have to assemble sew on the shoulders 20 stitches on each side and then sew on the edges now we will begin the sleeve and to begin the sleeve for the S size you'll have to chain 40 and make your first row in double crochet or make a foundation double crochet of 40 stitches then chain 2 and as we proceed on the back side we will begin the first row by making one double crochet in the very first stitch then skip the next stitch and make the V stitch in the next one and we will continue this row by skipping one stitch and in the next one V stitch skip one stitch and in the next one a V stitch and keep following this pattern to the end of the row I am at the end of the row and as you know we will finish the row with one double crochet in the last stitch remember the first stitch in double crochet or in foundation double crochet we won't counting as a row 
So now beginning to row 2 we will begin to make an increase and we will do that by making 2 double crochet in the first stitch, not 1. Then we will continue with the V-stitch to the end of the row. We will just increase in one side on this row and on the other side we will make the increase on the row back. So we will make the increase at the beginning of the next row. Okay, I am at the end of the row two and we will finish the row with one double crochet in the last stitch. Chain two and turn. Now at the beginning of the row three we will make the increase in the other side. So we will begin the row with two double crochet in the first stitch. And then we will continue with the V-stitch to the end of the row. This time the row will end differently because we have one increase that we've made on the previous row. So continue with the V-stitch to the end of the row. Now we are at the end of the row and because we have here an increase, so we have two stitches like a V-stitch, we will make between the two double crochet from the previous row, two double crochet. And this is how we will end the row three. Chain two and turn. On row four, we won't make any increase not neither at the beginning or at the end of the row so just make a straight row so we will begin the row making two double crochet between the two double crochet from the previous row so a v-stitch and we will continue with a v-stitch to the end of the row without making any increase Okay, I am at the end of the row 4 and because on the previous row we have had an increase at the end of the row we will make two double crochet between the two double crochet from the previous row. And this is the end of the row 4 and basically the row 2 and 4 are, is, are the pattern for the increasing that we will have to make on the sleeve. So we will just repeat these three rows, so from row 2 to 4, 9 more times until we will have in total 31 rows. So here we are at the beginning of the row 5, we have the V stitch, so 2 double crochet and between the 2 double crochet we will make 3 double crochet just to make our increase and then we will continue with the v-stitch to the end of the row and we will repeat like I said these three rows from row 2 to 4 nine more times until the row 31 here we are we just uh, finished 31 rows and now from now on we will keeping uh, straight so we will just repeat the row 31, 17 more rows until we have in total 48 rows. 
Remember, we don't counting the first row in double crochet as a row. So we count only the rows in V stitch. So as I said, beginning with the row 32, we will make straight row. So without increasing at the beginning uh, nor at the end. So we'll make just straight rows in V stitch. 70 ex more exactly 70 rows basically uh, with this uh, 70 rows we reach the length to the uh, to the armpit the length of the sleeve Okay, so I just finished the 17 rows. I have 48 rows now in total and it's time to create the armhole of the sleeve and we will proceed the, in the exact same way as on the back side. So slip stitch at the beginning of the row six times, actually seven seven stitches and slip stitch just to uh, put the yarn on the seventh stitch and in this way we will have six stitches on the decrease then chain two make a double crochet in the same stitch and continue with the V stitch until we will have seven stitches left Okay, I have here seven stitches left and I will make in the next stitch one double crochet. This meaning we will have left six stitches for the decrease. Now we will begin to decrease uh, the armhole and we will do that by skipping one stitch at the beginning and at the end of each of the next 13 rows so here I'm not beginning with one double crochet in the very first first stitch I'm skipping this stitch and I will make uh, the first V stitch in the first V stitch of the uh, previous row then I will continue with the V stitch to the end of the row I choose to make the decrease uh, on these rows by skipping one stitch but if you have another method, method to do that and looks uh, nicer than this one please uh, feel free to use any method you want. I just find it easier to just skip one stitch. Okay, so continue with the V stitch to the end of the row. Here I am at the end of the row. Normally you'll have to skip the last stitch, but it will look uh, not very well making the last V stitch in the last V stitch of the previous row. So I'm making the V stitch after the V stitch from the previous row. So in the space between the last V stitch and the last double crochet from the previous row. Then chain two and turn. And here we have a V stitch. So instead of two stitches, we only make one just to decrease with one stitch and we will repeat doing that decreasing with one stitch at the beginning and at the end of the row 13 
rose. So we will have in total from the armpit to the end of the sleeve 13 rows. Here I am at the end of the row and as I made at the beginning in the V-stitch I will only make one double crochet instead of two. Okay, so this is the sleeve. Now that you have the both sleeves done, you can now uh, sew it from the rest of the cardigan and we are ready to begin the color. So to begin the color, you'll have to lay your cardigan with the right side on the exterior. And basically we will insert the yarn at the beginning of the neckline and making the V stitch all around the neckline. So this will be one row of our collar. Make sure that you are laying down the cardigan correctly and begin making the rows of the cardigan on the right side so this will have to be your first row has to be worked on the right side of the cardigan so insert the hook the yarn at the beginning of the neckline chain two Make one double crochet in the very first stitch here. Then continue with the V-stitch to the end of the row. And we will repeat this row. So the entire collar will have 20 rows. If you want your collar to be bigger, just uh, be free to make more rows. Or if you want to be uh, shorter just cut a few rows from it I made 20 rows so once you have inserted your yarn at the beginning of the neckline all you'll have to do is to make the v-stitch all around the neckline and this will be one row and then repeat this row as many rows as you want uh, here I am at the corner of the uh, neckline so this is the uh, shoulder seam and you'll have to make a v-stitch here also just to have your uh, neckline your collar to avoid uh, having a hole uh, in the, on the shoulder seam if you are skipping this and make the v-stitch in the next v-stitch you'll have a hole and it won't look better so that's why you'll have to do a v-stitch in the seam 
of the uh, on, on the shoulder that you made on the shoulder basically this is the end of the cardigan after you finish your color I um, suggest you to put the cardigan on and see where the button where you want to be the button depending on how tight you want your uh, your cardigan to close and then this uh, was it so that I keep showing you the end of the first row of this color but I'm sure that you already know the stitch if you uh, started to make this uh, cardigan and you just follow the this video tutorial to make it you will already know the stage and how to do you i'm sure you just figure out how to do the color Like I said, this is the last uh, piece of our cardigan. All you have to do is just to repeat this first row of the color 20 more times. And then your cardigan is ready to wear. I suggest you before you sew the, you assemble the parts to block them this is how it looks after you'll finish it i hope